Hello there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Andrew Semaganda, and today I want to show you how you can make a simple switchboard to enable you navigate through your database. I'm going to make a simple switchboard using a form. So I'm going to create a new form. You go to create, and I want to create a blank form. Click on this blank form. It has already created for you a form. Though I've not saved the form, so you click on save. I'm going to call this one main form. Click OK. So this is a form, so I'm going to change its background color. So close here, right click, go to its design view. Let me change its background color. Click on this pen, right click, background color. Let me give it, uh, well, this color. And then save. You can see I've created a blank form, still blank. Close it, right click, design view. Now I want to show you a technique which will enable you to make the form float. In other words, left click this button by double clicking it. You go to you go to other pop up. Pop up means that the form will be floating over your screen. Under pop up, you select yes. So I'm going to show you the effect of that. So I click on save and then close here, close. So when I click on my form, you can see it is a floating form, floating over the window. So I'm going to use this form to develop a switchboard. It's going to be a simple switchboard. A switchboard is a form that enables you to add buttons and you are able to reach all the parts of your database. Let's close the form. Go to design view. By right clicking, you get this. Open up design view. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add buttons that can enable me navigate through my database. I'm going to add the first button, this one. I want this button to open a form. So you go to form operation, select open a form, select next, and it will show you here the different forms in your database. So I want to use this button to open, of course not the main form, because we are using the main form to develop a switchboard. I'm going to click on teacher's form, next. You leave it at open the form and show all records, next. You can give it a name, you can call it open. Teachers form. Next, finish. So this is our first button on the switchboard. We are going to create another button. 
click here. Again, we want this button to open a form. Click on form operations, open form. Next, this time we want to open students form. Click on it. Next, next. Name this one as students. Form. Next, finish. You can as well move it a little up there. Then I'm going to add another button for exiting the application. Click here, add a button, come application, click on quit application, next. Call this one exit school database. Next, finish. Put it, put it here. Make it same size. So I can as well put a label and I call this one school database. can change the color. You can even change the color by clicking on home. Change it to maybe this. Uh, make it slightly bigger. You can even center it. You can even bold. So I've created a switchboard. A switchboard enables you to reach or open the different parts of your database. It opens the different objects in a database. I click save, then close. When I click on main form, this is what it brings. In short, when you click on open teacher's form, it will open the teacher's form. When I click on student form, it will bring the student's form. You can see this one is floating. So I can close here. So, I can go ahead and improve this. If I forgot to type the word open here, I can go back, right click, design. It's a matter of clicking here and say open. You can as well make the text a little bigger. You go to home. I make it maybe 18. I can also change the color, maybe background color, light green maybe. I can change the text color to something like that maybe. Not good. Maybe that. I can make this one a little brighter. Right click, as I said, 
you can change the background by right clicking here or you can use this part here you can make it a little brighter no that's too bright no. maybe select another color maybe green this can do save close so when i double click it shows up with this school database i can as well change the name of the form you can see here main form and also i can try to reduce on the size of my switchboard you right click good design double click this button left double click so you go to format you see here the word caption i can put there school data base i can as well reduce on this the size of my switchboard then save close so when i check it out instead of reading main form it is school database thank you for listening to me please like share and subscribe to our channel talk to you soon